Hi everyone. Now, today I'm going to make something that I think Laurie might enjoy. When I was speaking to him on the phone the other day, he told me that he found some ladybirds when he was at the park. So I thought, hmm, maybe we could make some ladybirds. And when I was in my garden today, I found this stone, which I thought looked like the same shape as a ladybird. So I thought, maybe I could turn it into one. What do you think? So I'm going to need some red paint, because I know ladybirds are red, and some black paint for the spots. And I found those in my cupboard. And then I didn't have any white paint for the eyes, because I know that um, ladybirds have white on them. So I found some sparkly nail white instead, which I thought I could use. So have a fun around your house. Maybe you could find those things to make a ladybird. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the head. So I'm going to use my black paint to paint the head of my ladybird. So let's put the black paint on to make the head. Because I know that ladybirds have got black at the top where their heads are. There. There's the ladybird's head. Can you see it? Then we need red paint to paint the body. The shell. Because ladybirds have red shells, don't they? Paint it red all over. Turn this into a ladybird, a ladybird stone. There, I'm nearly done. Got red all over. I'm going to use a bit more, I think. Now, I don't know if you've ever watched a ladybird start to fly, but when they do, their shell opens up into wings. So we have to draw a line down the middle where their shell weight breaks up into two pieces where their wings are hiding underneath. And then I'm going to give my ladybird some spots. Now you can put as many spots as you like on your ladybird. I think I'm going to do four spots. One, two, and then two on the other side. One, so I've got one, two, three, four spots. Now for the eyes, I'm going to use that nail varnish I showed you. The sparkly nail varnish. Because it's kind of white. Oh, I thought that might be nice for my ladybird. Let's put some eyes on him, shall we? Or her. I've seen ladybirds in my garden over the last few days as well. They've been in my cherry tree, eating all the aphids that are there. And I tried to look for one today. I think it's too windy and rainy. I'm not sure where they've gone. But maybe they'll be back when the sun comes out. So there's my ladybird. Can you see? Then, do you know what else I did? I thought, oh, I'll make a garden for my ladybird to live in. It's my garden for my ladybird. Because I know the ladybirds like to climb up grass, because I've seen them there. Maybe play in the flowers. Or go in the cherry tree. Can you see I've drawn a cherry tree up here? So you could make a garden for your ladybird if you like. And then maybe you could make a story about your ladybird. Or maybe you could make a different mini beast. Maybe a bumblebee. <gasps> maybe a beetle. Maybe a woodlouse. Now I've brought my ladybirds into the garden. I made a friend for my ladybird. Just like in the story of the bad tempered ladybird. I found a link for that, so you can look at that on, um, on Facebook. Maybe you could take your ladybirds out into the garden or any other insects you make and make a story. Your creatures could have an adventure. Have fun!